Well, Galveston County Fair and Rodeo is next weekend. From the carnival to the concerts, there is something for everyone. The event raises money for deserving youth. County Fair and Rodeo Board member Danielle Tobaldo is now joining me with details. Thank you for coming in Thank this you morning. For having me. So next weekend, what can we expect there in Galveston? Next weekend, it kicks off our fair that Friday the 10th. It runs through the 18th. Um, we'll have carnival, livestock events, um, seafood cook-off starts next weekend um, on top of entertainment. So lots of events for everybody. A lot going on there. And I understand you'll have a new addition uh, this, uh, yes. this this time around, a yes. new uh, carnival you were telling me yes, about. Yes, we're very excited. Uh, Todd Armstrong's bringing out his new carnival this year. Um, he's actually going to do a sneak peek on Thursday before the fair actually opens. So people will be able to come out to the carnival and, and see our carnival firsthand, the new event rides we have. And talk about the times and also the prices. Pretty affordable for everyone. Yes, and the one-time gate fee gets you access to everything that's going on the grounds that day. Um, you can buy tickets online through our website, GalvestonCountyFair.com. Um, you can purchase them at, at the gate that day as well. So like I said, one time one time fee gets you access to everything that's out there. And something else that I like that you all do, you have a special day set aside just for special needs kids to come and enjoy the yes, fair. Yes, we do. It's our special kids day. It's on Tuesday where local, local area students with special needs are actually able to come out and experience and see the fair and, and they get their own special day for that. So it's a really special to me because I have family members with disabilities. So it's a very heartwarming day to to come out and volunteer for and see kids out there. Certainly it is. And the proceeds from all of this go right back into the community to impact deserving youth. Talk it about does. that. We have uh, over $55,000 the last couple years has gone back out to uh, Galveston County kids for scholarships. Um, also the animals that they exhibit or go through our auction and then crafts projects that they make they are all sold also. So um, proceeds go back to the kids for that as well for their hard work that they did. All right, and once again, it starts next weekend. The, all of the festivities start. Talk about what's going going on starting with April 9th, the seafood cook-off. Yes, that kicks off on the, uh, they'll check in on the 9th and that starts on the 10th. We'll have entertainment start. Kevin Fowler kicks off the fair that Friday the 10th. Um, and then Granger Smith, we'll have a Tahana Day on Sunday. Um, and then the big cook-off starts the following weekend. We'll have park and ride because the cook-off is a big, big uh, crowd drawler. So we'll have park and ride from the dog track. So that's another thing people will be able to take a, um, advantage of. Sounds like a lot of fun. And of course, we wish everything goes well without yes, thank it. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much thank for you. being with us.